Everything was just stabbing me in my back. That's more like it. Thank you. This is my first time. You can tell. Because I'm so unprepared. First time, but... Oh, yeah. You agree that I'm unprepared? Yes. It's not bad. You know, I'm an expert, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, T-T-D of the, is that what you say? Who? What it is? Outfit of the day? Yeah, what it is? O-T-D of the day. The O-O-T-D of the day. Um, got the van. Be careful. Uh oh Go canoeing? Let's go. No, none of us can swim. Well, I can't swim. This is beautiful, though. No lifeguard on duty. Dang. What's up there? Um, I don't know, maybe a restaurant? A restaurant? Restroom, girl. Oh. <laughs> this is giving horror movie. Horror movie. Why? Huh? Why? What you mean, why? Did you throw something down there? Are you with me? What do you mean? Are you good? Watch your step. It's very rocky. I'll be with you for that Is she all right? <laughs> all right, be careful.
just want to encourage y'all to be grateful for everything that you have. Hold up. But yeah, just be grateful for um, everything that you have and everything that you are. And you're probably thinking, don't nobody wish that they had my life. But there are people that's probably looking at you wishing that they had your life or something that you have. And you are too busy looking at someone else that you can't even recognize that you yourself is holding something that someone else wants. And if you can't think of anything right now, because sometimes we can't see. Sometimes we don't realize that we are holding blessings that we are holding something that we can be grateful for but just think about this if you're someone who got up this morning like you got out your bed yourself know that there's someone out there there's people out there millions of people thousands of people i don't know how many of people who could not get out their bed by themselves this morning if you can stand up and walk on your own without assistance there are people out there who wish that they could do that. There is something in your hand right now that you can use. Maybe you don't have the one thing that you are that you feel like you need, but there is something in your hand right now that you can use. And the thing is, a lot of times God just wanna see us start. He just wants to see us move in faith. And moving in faith looks like using what you have, even when you feel like what you have is not enough, because he will supply. And if he see that you're faithful over less, he will make you, what, what's the scripture? I gotta find it, hold up, I gotta find it. Is it faith, faithful over less, rule over many? Let me find a, a good translation. I like the NLT, let's find NLT. Hold up, oops, scratching my mic. His, Okay. The master said, well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling this small amount. So now I will give you many more responsibilities. Let's celebrate together. God, if you are faithful over that little thing that you have, and to be honest, to you it might be little, and it's okay, because God can work with that. He will show you how mighty that thing is. Because if you are faithful over that little thing, and that little thing produces something, big great bigger than what you can imagine that means that the thing was actually mighty but it's all right because you know sometimes our perspective is not always on point sometimes we don't always see what we need to see in things but one thing that god can do is show us if we submit our mindset to him and we submit our will to his will he is sure to change our perspective and to renew our mind so whatever that is why is my hair on my legs standing up you see that <laughs> so whatever it is, use it. Yeah. It's all within you. Yeah. Yeah. Like what she said, because it's all within you. What God has put in you, it's within you. And he know what he put on the inside of you to do. Yeah. So do it. Yeah. Do it. I just he, had those support. He may, he don't make no mistake. He know you, but he knows you better than you know you. And he knows what he's placed inside of you. He knows it. So even when you don't know, just be like, God, all right, I guess you see something and I don't see, so go ahead, do, do what you gotta do. And he will, he will, cause he's a faithful God and he truly, truly, truly loves his people. And he cares about you. Those things that you care about, he cares about it. You may not see him working in those things, but that doesn't mean he not working in it. That's not mean he, got, he ain't got no plan for it. You just don't see it, but he's faithful. He's faithful. He's a man of his word. Yes. A man of his word. If you he said it, we'll believe it. If he said it, if hey. he said I'm free in my mind, if he said it, then I believe, we'll believe it. If he said it, I am who you say I am. <laughs> I guess I'll take this time to introduce myself. My name is Cody Simone. The one and only, um, Cody Simone. So yeah, nice to meet you guys. Even though I can't see you, you can see me, but nice to meet you. She had to warm up to it because she didn't want to do it at first. She yeah. some... I'm shy. But yeah, y'all, be Please. encouraged. This... Oh, I got shy. I got shy. Never mind. Bring it back. We can edit. Watch this Woman of God's channel because she is amazing. And what this content that she put out it's not just any content, but she takes her time. She is passionate about you. She is passionate about what she produces. 
because she is a producer. And so she is producing on what God has put on the inside of her. And so y'all, what she has created is wonderful. Keep watching these videos. Even if you have to watch it more than one time, keep watching it because what she putting out is some good stuff and it's very vital for your life. All this stuff. Go back and watch some videos, some older videos that she has because all of it's oily, period. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so Mellow Mushroom was mid. Yeah. It wasn't good. My food wasn't good. Um, I had got the buffalo chicken, and I didn't know that it came with bacon on it. I didn't see bacon on there. Maybe I didn't see right. And that's weird that it came with bacon. Yeah. I don't think of bacon and buffalo chicken. Yeah. Ugh. But they also had caramelized onions on there, and I was like, mm, okay, it might be good because, you know, onions... Put onions on something as flavor, but it didn't do nothing for the pizza. It just made it worse. So I had got what four slices, and I ate two. Then I enjoyed my food, and I really wanted to just, you know, be like, hey, I didn't enjoy my food. Can I not pay for it? But I didn't want to be one of those people. But we got Korean corn dog. She's gonna try it for the first time. What is that song? Yeah. Oh, it smells or so is it good. Sugar? It smells like fries. Yeah, yeah that's fries. probably why I like it. But my pizza, since we're talking about pizza still, mine was okay. I don't, I'm not eating meat, so that was really good for me, you know. Okay, you're gonna have to break a piece. Grab, some, grab a napkin because it might be hot. Oh, God. Don't grab all the napkins. Grab some napkin. Napkin? Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. Mm. Yeah, I got it. Right now, I gotta get it out. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. That's great. Why am I chewing like that? Why am I chewing like that? So I forgot to record an outro for this video. So here it is. Thank y'all for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will see y'all next time. Bye. Oh. Bye-bye. See you later.